So when you have a website and you've purchased a Google Workspace account, the first thing that needs to be done is your DNS records need to be updated to add your MX records. Now this is the case if you have Google Workspace already and you've switched to a different web hosting service, your MX records will get transferred over or added to your new web hosting DNS records. So if this is something that you need done, then let's dive in and I'll give you all the details to help you out. So when you've got your email with Google Workspace, then you're going to need to add your MX records to your DNS records. And that goes where your name servers are and the actual records that you enter. If you signed up for your account before 2023, it would have been these five here and then um, uh, 2023 or later now you only have to add the one record and I will show you an example within Google domains you can see my name servers are Google domains and I would add my MX record over here this is in uh, the DNS area and uh, so I go here, create new record. I leave that blank. I put in the type MX and then I put in the priority space and then the smt.google.com uh, mail server and then hit save. So that will take a little while to propagate. And if ever you didn't know what your name servers were, you can always use this tool. I've included the link in the description. This is uh, Lookup I Can. This is public information, by the way, your name servers. If you put in any domain and hit Lookup, then you're going to know exactly uh, which name servers are being used for your domain. So I wanted to quickly show you in case you are using a service such as Bluehost then uh, and you signed up before 2023, this is what your records should look like. So the priority one, five, five, 10, 10, it's a little bit different as to how you would add those. So I hope that was helpful and I will see you in the next video. So if this tutorial was helpful for you, just please leave your comments below. I'd love to hear from you.